What helicopter would you buy if you were buying one for yourself? And this guy flies Augustas and Dolphins and every multi-engine, sophisticated aircraft in the world. In He's the world. flown them and flies them currently. And he says, hands down, if I was buying an aircraft for myself, I would buy a Robinson. I'm Gabriel Armas. I'm the CEO, director, and CFI at Rotor School. And this is the one and only Kenny Keller, founder and creator of Helicopter Online Ground School, or as the public would like to call it, Hogs. Affectionately named by the members. We didn't come up with that. The members just started calling it Hogs. I've always called it Hogs. But it's just, it's just what happened. Either way, we're here in Indiana today, and we've very much decided that we're going to bring to you this podcast called Two Blades, No Filter. And I was making videos and making content and putting myself out there, trying to save my little crappy helicopter company as hmm. I was going, you know. So you flew, you flew Enstroms for, for how long overall? Oh, off and on for 20 years. 20 years with Enstroms. Flown every model, every make. I've flown like 35 different Enstrom helicopters. That's fabulous. That's fabulous. So a lot of time in a lot of them. I don't think I've told you this before, but my, before rotor school started back in Venezuela, my grandfather, Joel Rivas, he made his own school back in the 70s and 80s. And he started with an F-28 and a 280C. And both of them unfortunately crashed because instruction these days were, well, it was back in the 70s, right? The standards were not what we have. Sure. Today, obviously. How was that switch? I mean, you ended up with two Robinsons. And then again, for our viewers, the reason behind our, behind our two-bladed podcast yep. is because we're both operating, at the end of the day, two-bladed aircraft. And we're planning to do so for a very long time. Right. I'm going to finish, finish my career out in Robinsons. That's what I got. R44 is the best choice for what I do, hands down among any other helicopter. So I'm finishing out my career in Robinson. And, and I think we're moving, I mean, obviously, who knows? My career probably will last, hopefully, longer than, well, than what it is at the moment, right? Sure. So I don't know if I'll end up my career in Robinson, but we're seeing that there's a resurgence on two-bladed helicopters. If you see the R88, if you see the 66, if you see the 44, even the Bell. The, five, the 505, two-bladed. Yeah. Well, we know that the Jet Ranger has the longest-running record for safest aircraft ever built. Absolutely. So, and it's two-bladed. And it's a two-bladed, underslung, semi-rigid rotor system. So if two-bladed are so bad, how is it that a two-bladed helicopter, and when, it, when we say safest of any aircraft, safest of any aircraft, not just helicopter, right? Is it, isn't that the, what my understanding was, safest aircraft ever built? I'll have to double produced. check that. But I'm pretty sure that in the helicopter world, with how many millions of hours- At least helicopter world, Belt for sure. Belt 206s have accumulated throughout 60 or almost 70 years now in production. Right. Plus the experience on its own that Bell carries throughout history. Sure. It makes it one of the most reliable, the most, uh, yeah, safest helicopters in the world, for sure. Right. For so sure. it's proof a two-bladed can be safe. Absolutely. I mean, and if we look let's, at it... Let's just, let's dive right, let's just no filter <laughs> the haters, right? <laughs> I'm going to say it. Here's what's funny. Our, my examiner has been doing it for 38 years, and I remember a couple years ago when we started doing this, and we went over to do a check ride with him, and... This applicant asked him, what helicopter would you buy if you were buying one for yourself? And this guy flies Augustas and Dolphins and every multi-engine, sophisticated aircraft in the world. In He's the world. flown them and flies them currently. And he says, hands down, if I was buying an aircraft for myself, I would buy a Robinson. And the applicant's like, why is that? He goes, just because they're durable, they don't break. And hands down, you can't beat it. You just can't beat a Robinson. No. So that's coming from a guy of 38, well, he's been an examiner 38 years, been flying longer than that because 
you got to be flying well before you become a DPE. And he's not just some fly by night DPE. He's a very well respected in our industry examiner. So when a guy with that experience makes a statement like that, and here's what he said. When you hear somebody talking, bashing a Robinson, they have 10 hours or less. Either they've never flown it and they're just repeating what they've heard, or they tried it and didn't like it and they just stayed on the Robinson hater bandwagon. And I can tell you, I started in Schweitzer, switched over to Robinson at the student level, and my instructor said, you know, I got in it and I'm like, what's with this T handle, T bar thing? <laughs> and I complained like the typical c complaint. And the dude was named Brad, and I love Brad. Brad was freaking phenomenal. And Brad goes, dude, it's still a helicopter. It doesn't make any difference. So what it has that? He goes, you know what? Once you get used to it, it's comfortable. And that's what I've found now. Like, it's more, actually more comfortable for some people like me because I can adjust that thing. I can sit in the aircraft how I want, and I can put that cyclic, and I can rest my arm on my leg. And what you find is it's super comfortable. And once you get over the fact that, yes, you teeter it back and forth, yeah, it's hinky at the beginning, but once you figure out, it's actually freaking comfortable. And I could care less that it's a T-bar. I could care less. And it's one of those things where, you know, a lot of people focus on that. And they made a big deal out of it when Robinson released the R-88, right. you know, where finally they chose the, the central position for, for right. the cycling. And for more than 50 years now, we've been training in yeah. Robinsons. Yeah. Every single pilot or almost every single pilot that, that I know has had to go through a Robinson at least once in their lives. When you feel the pressure to fly, but know the right decision is to stay on the ground, hit the hogs, no go, and live to fly another day. Helicopterground.com